What's up guys? Coming in hot with a quick video for you. So I'm gonna talk to you about how one glass of red wine at night can help you lose two, three, even four pounds in just one night. All right, so first I'll tell you about a conversation I had with a client, all right? So uh, she texted me and said, look, Nate, you know, uh, you know I've lost 30 pounds over the last six months. I've been losing a little more than a pound per week. I've been doing great. I'm consistently working out two or three days a week. I'm consistently hitting 1,600 calories every day. I've been very disciplined with it. And the, you know, the results, I've been there. The hard work has paid off. But I've been stuck for the last three weeks at the same weight. I'm getting frustrated. I've been, I feel like I'm stalling. I'm at a plateau. Um, and so I feel like I need to drop my calories or add in some exercise or whatever. And I said, all right, so you have been hitting the same calorie goal. You've been hitting 1600 calories pretty much every day. Uh, you, you are working out consistently, I know that. And I said, so you are hitting those 1600 calories every day? She's like, yes. So I said, is there anything that you've been doing differently over the last three weeks compared where you've been stalled compared to the one plus month before where you were consistently losing one plus pound per week? And she said, no, I'm doing the exact same thing. I said, awesome. Go drink a glass of red wine tonight, just one, a dry wine, not a sweet wine, no sugar, one glass, and tell me what happens. And the next morning, I got a text, uh, and I've gotten similar texts from uh, many, many clients before when I told them to do this trick, uh, and she was down three pounds on the scale. And she was like, oh my gosh, it worked, this is crazy. So, and, and I said, look, don't go thinking that, you know, drinking a glass of wine every night or multiple glasses of wine every night is the answer to uh, faster weight loss, that is not the case. So let me explain what happens. Um, and I told her this, first of all, when you're stalling, um, if you have been, if you've been losing weight consistently, especially like you've lost 30 pounds, you've lost a lot of weight, you've been, in, you know, week in, week out, hitting your calorie goal, hitting your workouts, you're having consistent success. So you have your calorie target and you're hitting it consistently and the results are consistent. Then like you, fat loss at that point is pretty straightforward. Like you just keep doing that and you will lose a lot of fat just hitting that same goal over and over and over without changing anything up. And it is true that your metabolism slows down uh, while you lose weight, but it's, it's very, very slow. I mean, the reality is a smaller body requires fewer calories to sustain it, but um, it's not like you're talking, you know, a thousand calorie difference, uh, unless you're talking about massive weight loss. But, you know, even if you lose, uh, I'm going to make up some numbers here. I'm not sure the exact numbers, but even if you lost 50 pounds, you're still probably only talking um, several hundred calories difference day to day. Uh, plus, I found that many times when you're smaller, I mean, you require fewer calories to sustain that weight, but you also um, are not as hungry, right? The body regulates itself. So anyway, all that to say, if you've been losing a pound a week consistently every single week and then all of a sudden you stop, there's no way, there's no way if your habits have not changed that your metabolism just drop like that. Like you have a serious medical issue um, if that's the case. But like, I mean, I have, I have never seen that. Like it's always just like something's going on, which I can explain. So all that to say, if you've been consistently seeing progress over a long period of time and you're doing the exact same things that have made you successful to this point, don't change anything. You are going to keep losing weight. And what will happen, you will eventually, like the, the scale is eventually gonna show it regardless, but the wine helps and here's why. So what happens is when we lose fat, we, we've lost a significant amount of fat over a long period of time, um, as our body dumps the fat and uses that for energy, our bodies will actually fill those cells with water. So a lot of times the scale does not budge even though our body composition is changing. We, we do have less fat, but our body's just replacing those fat cells, the fat that was in those cells with water, okay? Now, um, eventually, whether it's days or weeks, and sometimes it can you can hold on to it for weeks at a time, but eventually that water will flush out, it will get out of your system, and, and your weight loss will show up on the scale. And a lot of times it happens kind of overnight, and you wake up in the next day, it's been three weeks, and oh my goodness, you're down three pounds, four pounds, whatever. Um, it's not like you lost three to four pounds of fat overnight. It, you've been losing it consistently, but the body finally showed it. But here's the thing, here's the trick with red wine. You know, 80% of losing fat is just conquering the mental game. You gotta have your head screwed on straight. You gotta keep your head in the game. And so I've found that giving somebody a quick psychological win, if they're feeling stalled, um, if we can get that scale to drop, if we can get that water flushed out, they're gonna be really encouraged. And so uh, wine or alcohol is a mild diuretic 
and uh, a red wine, um, like a, a margarita or something is probably gonna make you bloated, probably not gonna help the situation, but like a dry wine um, will actually, it's just enough, just one glass, one serving, uh, which is five ounces by the way, ladies, it's not like 15 ounces or however big your wine glasses are. Um, that is enough to, it's, it's a mild enough diuretic to flush that water out of your system. And uh, again, like 90 plus percent of the time that I tell clients to do this, if they've been stuck for three weeks, they drink the glass of wine, bam, they've lost the water weight. Now, uh, this does not work if you are, you're like, oh, I'm stalled, but it's like, well, how much weight have you lost over the last three months? It's like, well, none, but it's like, no, 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 you just have not found your calorie goal and consistently hit that week in and week out. Like this only works if you've been crushing your fat loss goals. If you're stuck, if you're just getting started, no hate, no shame, it's all good. Uh, you're gonna get there too, but you've gotta just like, you gotta be going at this consistently for, for this principle to apply. So again, the red wine can help if you are stuck, if you're truly stalled, you've truly been losing weight consistently and you're truly stalled, give it a shot. Otherwise, you don't need the wine, stay away from it, it's not necessary. Just uh, hit your calorie goal and you'll lose weight.